Good morning everyone. Um, today we've got kind of a busy day but not too much. We've got our school to do but we're also going to be going to a meeting. It's called Thrive Moms and so it's where our moms can get together and there's also going to be a room for the homeschool kids as well as daycare for the ones who aren't in school yet. So we're pretty excited about that and then after that we've got to run a few errands. I need to take Luke's glasses by if we get out in time of the meeting and get those fixed because we're going to be leaving soon to be out of town so he's, his glasses are messed up once again so we got to get those fixed. And then basically I've got to come back and get the laundry washed up and I've got to start packing because Tomorrow we have a full day as well, and then we're leaving out Saturday, so there's quite a bit to do today. Remember whenever I was saying yesterday how sad they look by the end of the day? Now you can see they look wonderful. They're all doing great, but now by the end of the day this is going to change. So they are really struggling with the heat we're having. And it looks like I had a little critter last night who decided to dig up a plant. So we're going to put that back in the ground. I'm not sure what he was trying to do but he tried to get one and couldn't get it so he decided to get the other one so we will stick that back in the ground this morning i was putting this little guy back in the ground i'm pretty sure that the little guilty one is the little bunny rabbits that we all have around here we have so many bunnies around because it has ate off of this cabbage plant it's ate the broccoli it's done a number on this this morning um <laughs> this was um, cauliflower, so it has ate the leaves off of the cauliflower, and it has ate a few collards. The yeah, good collards are over there, so apparently it seems to like this side of the garden, probably because it's furthest from the house, but anyway, we've had this happen before, and the, the garden survived. This is definitely not the first time we've dealt with the little bunnies. Um, actually, last year, our entire garden for the summertime, I planted seeds. And, you know, it takes a little while for your seeds to come up. Well, the green beans were coming up absolutely beautiful. They just looked gorgeous. And so I come out one morning and half of them are gone. There were no leaves on them. There, I mean, you know, there was a few, there the beans that were there, but the leaves were gone. I mean, they were completely stripped. And um, basically, it was the little bunnies because um, the squirrels are not going to bother it. It's always the bunnies. And what I did for that was I went out that evening and I planted the marigolds. So both of our gardens were lined with marigolds. I mean, basically, in a square around each garden had the marigolds, which was fine. Marigolds are pretty. I kind of think they stink a little bit, but they're pretty flowers. And that deterred the bunnies. Well, it's now fall, so it's really not marigold season. So I'm going to have to do some reading to see kind of what's going to deter the bunnies. Because I want the bunnies safe, but I really would like the crops to grow after I spend all this time hand digging it. But on another note, the chickens are out checking out their new coop, so we're going to see how they're doing. So as you guys know, these little, these ladies have always been free range. We've always had them free range. And so they're uh, not very happy that they can't get to me because they love hanging out with us and the kids and following us around. So they're really confused right now as to why they can't get out. But normally I would let them out, but we want to make sure that they stay, that this is going to secure them. So we're going to be leaving uh, to go out of town on Saturday and we're going to be gone a week. So we want to test this out, even though they're going to be put up at night. We still want to check this out to make sure they're going to be safe during the day from any predators that may come around. And they're not happy and they want out. They want to hang out with everybody. But there's still some places like right here that, that Ryan's got to fix. There's this spot down here and then there's some other places I know he'd mentioned that he's going to secure just so it's going to keep them safe from like right here to keep them safe from any predators because I mean they really are at the mercy of us protecting them. So that is the goal for this evening. Right, ladies? Where are we going? The big church. It looks church. like a lot. The big church, yes. We're going to our very you, you, first group meeting. It's called it. Thrive. You, so it's the for the camera. moms, but the kids, the, the boys let have the a class they get to go it. into as well let for homeschool. Huh? Let the camera see it. It looks like a lot. There it is. It's a big it's church. It's fancy, it's fancy glass. It does, doesn't it? Looks like a cabin, you said? I All said right. it looks like a lodge. All I right. said it looks like a big cabin. Right. Big, big, big My door's cabin. open so hot. You ready to go in? Blowing on me. You ready? 
Let's do this. Hey, look! So we survived our meeting. It was the Thrive Moms, and that's one of the things I struggle with is meeting new people in a situation, you know, to where you you have to really get to know people. I can talk to anyone out in public, but it's the sitting down to get to know people. They kind of it's a it's a challenge for me. But it went well. The boys loved it. What did you think? Yeah. Did you like it? I made a new friend. <laughs> there, you made he, yeah, made a new friend. Don't know her name. No, nope, forgot it. They're terrible at names. Do you remember? No. I, I, Emily, yeah. I think it was. We made, uh, made a lot of friends. Yeah. The whole school had a bunch. It did. Are you coming back next time? Yeah. Even I had my age on. Awesome. Does anybody want to make a guess of where we're at? Um, we were just here yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. You're correct. <laughs> I've never heard that Mentos help you focus. <laughs> they did me. I need to focus. The boys are playing a game of Teggy. I'm not. Mm. <laughs> you scared me. Ooh, I get to pull two? Any color? I think you had a wreck. I think you gotta have the butt up. So. Well, I put these two up here. This cheats and he. <laughs> you touched it. You gotta pull it. Ooh, I got two more. Awesome. Huggy. Let's see. That is a bad taggy player, isn't he? Pull that one I don't eat Mentos. Ooh. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Yellow or blue? Listen, because you move it, no, if it falls out, that's not my problem. <laughs> You've got a lot. <laughs> well, you pulled something wrong. <laughs> I think you lost. <laughs> <laughs> this was all that was left. I don't think it wanted me to get tuggy.